uh, it is unfortunate that some people don't know how to run bots, and some people do. Um, uh, Ethereum gas price is something that will stop most of the people to try to accumulate as much as they can. Because remember, uh, this crypto is free. It has no value. Like I never said that there is a value anything beyond zero. So what people are doing, they're taking a risk on the future because they have to mint. Like let's say that you're, you're, you're minting with a bot a thousand wallets. So you're gonna have to pay at least ten thousand dollars if you're lucky. Likely it's gonna be fifteen thousand. But then you have to exit the position and you're gonna have to pay some gas as well. And what if on that day the gas is super high? Then you're gonna be hit with penalties. So I think uh, getting people uh, uh, or anybody who is investing in, with gas disproportionately high is running a higher risk and ultimately potentially should be compensated by having more Zen uh, at the end. And also at the same time, when the bot comes in, they benefit the, the network by increasing the rewards for uh, the rest of the people who are minting Zen uh, or been minting Zen before them. Uh, that's definitely helpful because the rewards get amplified due to the uh, rank amplifier that we have. Um, but I, I do clearly see what you're saying is that and uh, uh, the goal for this is to be as widely distributed as possible. But because it's free for all, whoever has the most money will end up well, or whoever, whoever is the most risk tolerant with their money will get the most zen and there isn't anything that anybody could do about it. Now, the world is large. We have 96% of people out there who are we're trying to onboard into crypto. Whoever does a thousand wallets and they're gonna get millions of other wallets, millions minted on top of them and will eventually be diluted. The inflation of this crypto is extremely high because anytime you go from zero to three billion well the inflation is like you know in is in billions right um that being the case the risk for bots or people who pay a lot of gas is high and so i'm hoping uh, the better we do job at the marketing and the better virality we see the less of a chance we're going to have uh, highly concentrated wallets like we saw with bitcoin uh, well, absolutely. We're going to be monitoring anything. Um, at this point, though, I mean, like, think about it. There's not much we can do. We we release the code. The code is out there. And it's up to the human population to do what they will. Um, we can't stop them. Uh, even we, if, we, if we talk at them, they're not going to listen to us. I mean, they will do what they will do. So it's, it's just a, a question of... Uh, you know, where the chips will fall, so to speak. I think because it's such a low barrier to entry, there's positive and negative. The positive is that 96% of people who hasn't touched crypto will be able to get in into crypto. The negative is that uh, somebody who is a, you know, shadowy super coder will be able to automate their process to mint a lot of Zen. But remember, for everyone out there, including bots or people who have bots, the, the price of gas is an equalizer. It will cost them money. At the same time, it will also cost them their time because you need to specify the number of days until you get to Zen. And so those things are impossible to change and nobody is gaining any advantage. <laughs>